Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another PowKD RGB10 Max 3 video. Today I'm featuring a quick setup guide to show you how to install Linux or Rocknix. This is a Linux custom firmware that you can install on your RGB10 Max 3. Of course, in the next video, I will announce this device as a giveaway. I'm super happy to give it away to you. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I reached my 1K sub milestone. So as a token of appreciation for all my followers, subscribers, supporters, I'm going to give this out to you. Of course, I'll announce the details in the next video. So today, this is a quick setup guide to show you how to install a Rocknix, the Linux custom firmware. Of course, I'll include all the steps in the video description. There will be the Rocknix, you know, a wiki and um, GitHub page as well, their Discord channel. Huge shout out and huge thank you for all the guys and devs who are working on this project. It's one of my favorite Linux custom firmware. So all the steps will be included in the video description as well. And of course, it's worth mentioning that I'm using a two micro SD card setup, as you see here. There is the OS TF1, and this is TF2 for the games, okay? So as I mentioned, uh, I'm using a 32 gigabyte for the OS. This is the one I have. You can still use uh, 8 gigs or 16 or 16 gigs of micro SD card as well. But since I had the 32, I'm just using that one. For the games, I'm using 128 gigabytes Samsung Evo Select, one of my favorite brands. But you can go for 256 if you want, or even 512. But I think. For this chipset, which is the Rock chip RK3566, which plays, you know, until PSP, PS1, Dreamcast, I think 128 gigabytes will be enough. Okay, so first of all, make sure to go and get the final or the latest release of the image file. It will be in the video description as well. It's a zipped file, just put it on your PC unzip it to get the image file and then put the micro SD card the one with the OS the smaller one in your PC burn copy write that image file that you unzipped you know using Rufus or Belena Etcher you know, whichever you prefer and then once that image is on your micro SD card put the first micro SD card in TF1 here with the OS and then the blank micro SD card for the games here in the second uh, micro SD card slot, which is TF2. And then just turn up or boot up the device, as you will see. And you will see the friendly Rocknix logo. Let me just show you here. Yeah, as you see. It's booting up into Linux now from the micro SD card. And I included, you know, around 22, 23 game systems. So this beautiful piece of technology now has around 13,500 games. Yeah, okay. So as you see here, all games. 13,586 games and I chose this beautiful blue theme color because it complements the shell as you see the light blue um, I'll also include how to add more themes to your uh, custom firmware using theme master from John Irvine huge thanks for this guy um, you know shout out to John Irvine for these beautiful themes I'll include the steps in the video description as well. So as you see here, I have a total of 13,586 games. You have your favorites. I put Atari. Let me just go through the systems as well. 
Atari Lynx as well Sega Amiga Mattel in television Microsoft MSX Turbo Graphics 16 Nintendo Game and Watch NES as well 1680 games you will have a blast with this system Nintendo Famicom as well Super Nintendo SNES 1874 games Nintendo 64 Game Boy Color 984 games as you see Game Boy Advance 1693 games Sega Master System Sega Genesis 1111 games Man, this is a huge game library for you guys and the lucky winner will have a blast with this device Sega Game Gear Sega Dreamcast Sharp X68000 2306 games I put some PlayStation games as well, as well as PSP. Now some of these games will run well and some will not. You know, because as I said, the Rock Chip or RK3566 can play some PS1 and PSP games, but not all. So that will be more of a hit and miss. And I also put the ports. This, this port section has native running PC games that I put for you they are ported by the devs so you can have also very very cool nostalgic games from PC running through ports okay I put around I think 180 native games from PC that you will love it as well So, as you see, a total of 13,586 games. So, this is a beautiful custom firmware, Rocknix, as I mentioned. Feel free to try it if you have this device. And then you can also have a favorite section where you can add your favorite games as well. Okay, guys, so that was a quick setup guide for Rocknix, the Linux custom firmware for the Paukity. RGB 10 Max 3. As I mentioned, I'll make another video next to show you the details of the giveaway. Make sure to tune in, make sure to participate, make your entries. So this beautiful piece of retro handheld can be yours. So that would be for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And always remember, we don't stop gaming because we grow old, we grow old because we stop gaming.